Dahlia Shazwan, and thank you for tuning into Astro Awani's brand new fashion and beauty program, Silhouette. To kick off this week's episode, we have a whole lot of fashion forward items lined up just for you. Southeast Asia has the world's largest Muslim population and biggest economy. In Malaysia, not only Muslim designers are creating beautiful Muslim wear, but the likes of Melinda Louis goes beyond in creating beautiful silhouettes. Renowned Malaysian designer Melinda Louis launched an Islamic focus collection called Email, which has already proven to be a hit amongst the Muslim majority community. We launched our ML by Melinda Louis. Uh, ML comes from the word Amal. Uh, it means uh, doing good deed, um, doing charitable work, giving and you know sharing kind of. So we wanted this collection uh, to be a yearly, uh, like an annual collection, uh, for especially for during the Ramadan for Raya. We want to also design a hijab collection. So um, it's a collaboration between me and um, Diana Amil, and she come up with the design, and I uh, put in some of my touch and so on. Um, and yeah. So we have a full collection of hijab this year. So we want to uh, design a collection that is fashionable, trendy, and yet has the uh, sort of the criteria of what a hijabster would need. You know, so uh, we wanted it to be um, easy to wear, but yet very fashionable, very easy to mix and match. You can wear for day, you can wear for night. You can dress down and dress up. And then we have got some pieces which is uh, with chiffon and, and a trim of, of sequins material. Um, that is really nice for evening as well, and as well as day. If you imagine you wear a very simple t-shirt and jeans and you just wear that and voila, you can go for a party. Basically, you can find uh, easily anything you want to in our collection to match your, your outfit. Recently we did a show with uh, Materialize, they're from Belgium. They're a company who is uh, specialised in 3D um, printing. The whole collection is inspired by birds because I love images of birds. I love, basically I love the nature. I call it the cape. It was a, actually a, a sort of like a feather uh, cape which you can actually open up to become like a big wing. So kind of like having the dramatic effect. And then we have also um, a pair of shoes. It's like a, a live pair of birds where you see, um, but more like the skeleton of the bird. Because <laughs> it's all like bones on the, on the body and, and having the lacy touch on the side. So this is considered also the first uh, movable um, you know, and wearable pieces of, of 3D printed uh, uh, collection. What I see Melinda Louis is, we, uh, we, I wanted the brand to grow further. Um, not just known in Malaysia or Asia alone, but we wanted to bring our export collection um, to further. So that's why we are re relaunching uh, 2014, you know, um, the Melinda Louis export collection. I really want the world to know that, um, you know, there is fashion in Malaysia. With the rising of more Islamic fashion brands, online Muslim fashion directory Shika Hub sees the opportunity to put all the brands under this category under one roof. Not only this provides a solid ground for new and upcoming designers, but it also displays to the world some of the hidden gems in the Islamic fashion landscape. Shika Hub is a platform to promote online businesses, not just in Malaysia but in all over the world. So basically, we help the entrepreneurs, the online businesses. Uh, we give them a free uh, directory for them to register their business with us. Also, every year we'll do fashion shows and bazaars. And we also have business forums. The Melbourne uh, Spring Fashion Week invite is totally unexpected. Um, we didn't expect it at all. Uh, a few days after our launch, Last 29 June, uh, I received an email from Melbourne uh, Spring Fashion Week. World Runway organizer inviting us to participate. So we'll be bringing uh, four designers uh, under our brand, uh, under our portal. And uh, also on the 21st of September, we will be announcing um, the designer search for Malaysians, Qatari and United Arab Emirates. 
and the winner will be announced in uh, Juba in Doha uh, on the 23rd of November. Our ambassador is Natasha Hudson. Uh, she's uh, a celebrity and uh, she also designed her own collection now. She just started. Uh, that's what uh, Sheka Hub. We want to promote new designers, so Natasha Hudson will be one of the brands that will be promoting in Melbourne also. Okay, hi, my name is Azura Liana from Azura Azwa. Um, okay, this is uh, some of our, uh, for this year, 2013. Uh, it's inspired by uh, Saloma. Uh, Ponzi Saloma uh, and then uh, this design is um, a modern version of uh, what you can see uh, uh, during Saloma punya time. This too is actually our uh, part of our Lebaran collection, Mipi Kita 2013. It's actually a raya and a bit of spring summer 2013. So this one is a modernized kurung, modern, uh, modern modernized kurung. Uh, we keep it very simple, very minimal, with a bit of uh, French lace and uh, French net. This one um, is actually a modernized uh, kaftan. With, uh, we play with uh, a bit of drapings in front. We have this uh, is a geometrical uh, inspired dress, as we can see here. So it's, uh, it has geometric cutting and the, and the colours is more to pastel colours. My name is uh, Suri Daman and um, my clothing brand is called Saraya Zahra. In today's design, I have um, Shira, one of my models. She's wearing a skirt and a top combined, but the skirt can be worn individually with or with other tops. Um, so the concept is mix and match um, so that women can wear it. This is one of uh, our Hari Raya collection. It's a peplum top with really layered, very romantic uh, kind of skirt. So skirts is very, um, very much Sarai Zahrat's specialty. I was actually invited to be a, a, a guest judge for their lunch the other day for their competition, Yang Hijabisa competition. Um, I actually truly support what they're doing because they are actually trying to support the young Muslim entrepreneurs where they would try to give anything that I mean we require or inquire. It's a combination of many designers. <laughs> Me here, this is my trademark. I mean I mix a lot of batik. Uh, for my design, so this is my belt. Um, I'm wearing a hijab by this new brand, um, um, Shawls by Shawls, and uh, this top is by an Indonesian, in Indonesian designer called uh, Such. And I'm wearing a palazzo by uh, My Pop Loop. Yeah, and also this really cool shoes by Button My Buttons. Yeah. Up next, she's a TV personality actress, mentor, and international model. This model extraordinaire awaits you on Muse right after this break. And we're back on Silhouette from the Fashion House of Melinda Lui in Bangsa. And here is the talented and sultry Amber Chia. Charlie Ping, but it's so hard for everyone in the industry to remember. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys know that most of the models that have English name. That's why you know when I just start modeling, you know, my agency mod uh, Andrew Models, you know, give me the name. He was like Amber, I cannot remember your name. He said Chia, I cannot remember your name. Why don't you know? Since you you're wearing this Amber, you just call yourself Amber. And I, I love the name. When I was young, there is no one's. Uh, modeling in my you know family on the background industry and being a model is always my dream when i was about seven to eight years old you know i didn't know what is model yet but when i look at the magazine i saw the girl wow she's so beautiful i wish one day when i grew up i can be beautiful like her i can be in front of the magazine like her when i saw someone on the runway you know i, I just wish one day when i grew up, i can be like them 
newspaper that is a lot of a small newspaper that is a like competition. You send your photo. If you are the chosen one, you will get to publish your photo in the bigger page. When I enjoy, every time, you know, I, I get to publish my photo in the, if that one is very small competitor, like, but a small competition. So that made me feel like maybe I have a chance to start this career. to KL when I was 17 and when I come here I went to a lot a lot of modeling agency to look for my career to, to catch my dream. I get rejected many times until when I almost give up but I would say that lucky I didn't give up because I went to more than 20 casting agency with my no makeup look slipper and uh, and a very loose jean and t-shirt. When I walk in, they just feel like, you know, no way this kampung girl can be a model. So that is the first impression when I, when I just come to KL. There's one agency saw me, he, he, he kind of like, you know, approached me and um, yeah, give me an opportunity to learn the catwalk in, uh, with, with them and that's how I start my modeling career. It wasn't my IC, and uh, but it's already considered my name in the modeling industry because when I just start modeling, you know, Amber have been with me until today, have been like 14, 15 years. I believe that uh, if you talk about five, six years ago, most of the people remember me as a gas model, the, the Amber Chia, the catwalk model, the sexy model. But uh, when 2009, when I start my business, most of the people start, you know, remember me as a businesswoman and entrepreneur and of course when I start uh, when I married and also had my son people remember me as a mother as well when I was young you know I was when I'm still studying you know in the form two and form three you know I was helping my dad selling fish in the market in the morning and the afternoon I go to school and at night I work part time as well I was quite hardworking because of the financing problem as well so I have to work for my school fee and um, every time when the auntie or uncle they go to the market when the time I was 14 15 but I consider quite tall in the school and also quite tall compared with others so they, they told me that you're so tall why don't you start modeling and and they can see like me always dream you know having the dream to be a model but I will still question myself can I be a model or not so that's why you know make me to encourage the young generations I wish you know whatever dream you have whatever you want to do the younger is always the better because you know even though you don't know can or not success or no but at least it's experience in your life and also you know the answer i started modeling when i was 17 18 to until when i was 22 i get the guest tennis beauty title it was my big break and it was my big turning point in my life as well that's how bring me who i am today become you know everyone remember amber chair it was not easier because you know when i joined a big international competition that was from 63 country the contestants so a lot of people told me that you know you don't even can win a Malaysia title how can you go for the international and also you know a lot of people having the same physical as well they told me that guests never used Asian girl before so I keep trying and uh, because I believe that even the chances is 0.001 percent but there's still a chance if I don't try it's going to be zero I believe that Every time when I feel that is the experience make me to win the guest tennis beauty title. Um, Andrew Morrow are the one who for, uh, he is the ones to give me the first chance to step into an international brand show. I remember the first international brand show I did was Chanel. Andrew was the one who proposed say that you can do it, try. <music>to give in to my photo parent is because when I was in standard one uh, my mom and my dad side have some financial problem so I stopped school for about nine months I have to go to one of the restaurants to watch Pratt and also you know um, to it's, it's a very kampong those kind of restaurants so a lot of people told my mom like you know you shouldn't let your kids to stop school in this age and they had to go to school until when I was eight my mom decided to make my life better 
So she pans it, she, she give me up to my foster parents to take care of me and I'm back to school. A lot of young girls now, they, 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 if you ask them that what would you going to see yourself in the next five years, they don't know, they cannot see what they're going to be. So maybe you have to think about what you want to be in the future. And uh, for people who really have a uh, dream or who really want to do anything or everything, you know, just do it. And also, you know, if you need to study, just study. You know, I came up, this book is not long ago. It's called um, Get to be a Successful Modern Career. The reason I came up this book is because of, I realized that there's a lot of girls, same like me, they have a dream. You know, they want to be a model, but they don't know how to start on where to go. It's just like me 15 years ago. That's why, you know, I came up this book. Inside, they did mention everything. For the last 15 years, you know, I was in the modeling industry, how I start and also, you know, what problem you're going to face and how many types of modeling and also a little bit of my family background as well. For my academy, you know, I have a dream. I wish one day the next supermodel will be from Amber Chai Academy. Now we have already have about 80s over winners, you know, title holder in, from Amber Chai Academy. Exciting silhouettes coming your way right after this break. Thank you for not changing your channel because we have another colourful segment for you. Track with Iza Izlan. Hi guys, you're with me, Isa Islan, and I've been all over KL looking for the best looking, most fashionable Malaysians walking about the streets. And you know what? I found one. Here it is! Hi! Can you introduce yourself to <laughs> our yes, audience? Uh, hi, I'm Joe, uh, and I'm 26, and I'm fashion designer. Ooh, yes. okay. <laughs> okay, so can you uh, describe your look today? Sure. Um, I like um, oversized top with skinny jeans. Uh, Eaters, uh, baggy pants, you know. So, what would you say is your trademark look? Um, trademark look. I like uh, monochromatic. Uh -huh. I like black. I like um, mm, skinny jeans with oversized top. One fashion tip that you can share with everyone? Um, just be yourself. <laughs> Ooh, guys, the day is getting hotter and hotter, but the fashion scene in KL Street is even more way hotter. And now with me today is someone looking super dapper. Please introduce yourself, gentlemen. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Ridwan Ismail, but people call me GTMDA. Which stands for? Uh, it's, uh, it stands for Tukang Takap Foto Gembira Anda. Okay, so yeah. you're a photographer? I am a photographer. Can you describe your look for me today? Uh, okay, uh, my look today is inspired by American uh, fashion designer called Tom Brown. He's a menswear designer based in wow. New York. One favorite item that you're wearing? Uh, right now it's my jacket of jet also. Yeah. Okay, your outfit today deserves a closer look. Can you just turn around for us? Fashion tip that you can share with our audience? I think right now, everything oversized top. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. so guys, the trend to look out for is oversized shirts, especially for men. Here's the thing, guys. Who would have thought that you would find someone who looks like he just stepped out the set of Batman looking all dapper walking about in the KL streets? And his name is? Izzat. Okay, Izzat, introduce yourself to our audience. My name is Izzat. I'm 28 years old. Another two years, 230. <laughs> which is I don't like to say. Fabulous 30. <laughs> Can you Thank describe you. your look today? Uh, my look today is called... What I call is get another term. Maybe what I call is uh, upper casual. Upper casual, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's that's new. Okay. Upper casual, which is I uh, not too overdressed or less dress, which is I wear jacket with my cotton pants, which uh -huh. is jacket is for formal, cotton yeah. pants is for casual. Oh, so it's formal but casual. Yes. So you, this is formal and then this and is the casual. casual. So they call it upper casual. Wow, that's, that's really uh, something smart new. Smart casual also. Smart and casual. That's in another, another term. 
uber handsome, <laughs> okay? So, what is your favorite key item that you're wearing right now? My key item, if I wear something like formal or upper casual like this, I can leave home without my Porsche okay. and my jacket. Porsche, what do you call it? Porsche. Porsche. I think a lot of Malaysian men especially out there who's like a bit afraid to wear like this, and you know, floral prints yeah. and all yeah. that, so what is your suggestion? Yes, my suggestion is you have to know when you have to wear, what you have to wear and where you have to wear. Which is these three combinations you have to include to one. Which is you have to wear a jacket on what occasion and uh -huh. where the, the occasion going to be held. Ah, so it's key to know where you're going and what kinds of events you're heading to. My tips is don't, don't try too much. Try to be yourself. And if you think that is your style, just go for it. So effortless, guys. Yes. That's the word, right? Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Izzat. So guys, I'll be roaming around looking for more fashionable individuals. Watch this space. Honestly, guys, I think it's not difficult at all to find stylish Malaysians. And I've been walking around and you know what? I found another one. Here she is. Hi. Okay, so can you introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, um, my name is Atika. I'm 20 years old and I'm a student and a part-time model. A model! Look at what she's wearing. I think it's impeccably stylish. Can you describe a bit about your look today? Um, so, yeah, I'm wearing a long sequin skirt um, from Xiaomi Ezwa and a, a black top. Simple black top. Yeah, simple black top and a two-piece um, necklace. like about your look is that it's super chic and elegant yeah. and yet you have to match it with just a simple top yeah. right I think what makes it is the statement necklace as you can see and like a whole bunch of necklace and an amazing skirt I think this deserves a twirl can you just uh, turn around wow ain't that amazing Okay, so what is your favorite piece of, of item that you've been wearing right now? Yeah, this one, the sequin long skirt. Because, see, can stiffen. That's why I mix with the black top. Would you have one uh, fashion tip for our viewers that you can share with, maybe? I think um, if you wear a simple outfit with the makeup on, but just wear a simple makeup, like simple yeah, makeup. nude makeup, and with a red lipstick, like I'm... Um, Right? Yes, I think that yeah. changes. It's either the eyes or the lips, yeah. right? And now you've and a the bit, um, a bit of mascara. Mascara to just curl that lashes, yes. right? <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Atika. Leather has played an important role in the development of civilization. From prehistoric times, circa 1300 BC, man has used the skins of animals to fulfill his basic needs. My name is Koji, I'm 34 years old, I'm from Brazil, and I'm the craftsman from 34. 34, the brand started six years ago with Linda Chong and Shunki Chong. They are two cousins, designers, and they decided to do something together, and 34 born since then. Um, 34 Bespoke uh, was opened two years ago, and uh, it's a chance that the customer uh, work in the production directly with us. So they have the chance to choose the design, choose the color. So it basically the customer work with us in the production of their uh, leather goods. At 34 Bespoke, a leather craft shop in Kuala Lumpur, customers can choose a design they want for almost anything. And as I mentioned before, Linda Chong and Shunki Chong, they are cousins. And uh, in their generation, they are 34 cousins. And many of them are designers. So that's why the name 34. Um, I think 34 Bespoke is special in a sense that the customer don't simply buy something from the shelf. Uh, if they want a specific color, if it's a gift, they want to tag a name of a person with a product. So basically, it worked directly with us, the whole process of production. Four years ago, we opened our first outlet in Bangsa Village and was a huge success. Two years later, we opened here, 34 Bespoke and also it's a huge success. We are very happy with all everything that is going on in the shop. Every day is different. I have different orders every day, different products to be done. So I pretty much go to the workshop by 10 a.m. 
and uh, I basically is the whole day working the orders, uh, working the stocks and corporate products. So it's every day is different. I never know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. 34 has expanding very well in this past four years, and uh, definitely we have a uh, big plans for 34, not only in Malaysia, but overseas as well. I think the most important thing is be passionate about what you do, not only in our segment, fashion, but anything. Once you are passionate about what you do, definitely you will be successful. That's all the time we have for now. Don't forget, Silhouette on Astro Awani next week. See ya.